All right, um, I just want to talk to you about these ringlets. These ringlets are deadly baits. Eh? They're absolutely brilliant. Eh? Um, one of the best finds I've ever made. Um, they catch fish, they catch a lot of fish. So these are 52 grams, so they're quite heavy. Um, and they, go, they sink quite quickly. We, we use them like a jig, as you saw. But as you can see, there, there's nothing to them. There's, 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 no, there's nothing to give you any action or anything like that. Um, it's just a basic stick bait, a sinking stick bait. And like any stick bait, um, take the Zaris book for example, um, if you just cast and wind, you're going to get no results whatsoever. This thing requires action, and um, and uh, a lot of guys are buying them from me and saying, oh, but, you know, oh, they're fishing right next to us and they're catching nothing, yet we're catching fish cast for cast. Um, and the thing about them is, is, is like a Zaris book, um, the angler needs to create the action. So you'll see in our videos, it's like little jerks in that area. You're winding and you're jerking at the same time. So you want to get that side-to-side that -side action like you would if you're a fr uh, freshwater fisherman. You'd know how the Zaris book works, how the, how the stick bait or pencil bait works on the surface. You need to generate the action. And that's exactly what it's like with the winglet. The winglet, you can't just cast and wind, although some people do catch like that. Um, but it's better if you give it a bit of action. Now, in order, in order to do that, um, the rods are pretty specific. You need you need something that's that's not very stiff. This is this is the the flick sticker. You see that I use it often. There's there's one on there. Um, it's got quite a soft tip, and um, you can use that tip to get the action. If your rod is too stiff and too hard it's going to be difficult to get that same action. This rod is good, um, the flick stick, um, a popping rod or something like that would be too hard for the thing and it wouldn't work as well. Um, you'll see as well we use uh, quite a heavy fluorocarbon leader, well it's not really heavy, I mean I, I, I like my light stuff. So the heaviest stuff I use yeah, on, on for snook and that is 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. We find that if we do put steel trace on, we, we get much less bites. So, so the fish are very sensitive to that steel wire and we don't get the bites. Unfortunately, without steel wire, you do get a, one or two that cut you off, but we do land probably 80% of the fish we hook and, and we have more problems with sharks than we do with, with the actual wire leader. So that's a metalloid flick stick, uh, incredible rod. And on there, I use a 40 pound uh, slick braid. The slick braid is brilliant. Um, it really lasts well, um, and uh, yeah, that's that's. Right, so the other rod I use a lot, and you'll see it in most of my videos, is a slow jigging rod. Um, this is a metalloid slow jigging rod. It's a 6.8, not quite a 7 foot, but again, it's got quite a soft tip. And most of your slow jigging rods and that have got soft tips, but not too soft. Um, and uh, I use that a lot again because it gets the right action on the lure. The rod is too stiff. You're not going to get the right action out of it. So, so those two rods there, that's why I use them a lot, because of the action. The action is important, very important when using these baits. So those are the two rods I use. On this here, I'm using the Zors 40. This reel has worked hard. I've had it for two years, maybe a little bit longer than two years. And I haven't changed the braid once, but it is going to get changed now because that last shark really did some damage. I used the 30-pound slick uh, braid on there, the Boss slick. And that's ample for all your your snook and your bonnies and little kingies and things like that. That's not a problem. And it's and, and the 30 pound is pretty strong as well to, to handle most of your fish. Unfortunately not when there's sharks around. Um, so that's that's my go-to rod for just about everything now. Um, a fantastic rod, that metalloid um, slow jigging rod. The other trick that I've come up with, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I've showed you, well, I spoke about this in one of my previous videos, is on these lures, um, they get scuffed up a lot. They get hurt quite a bit by the fish and that. And uh, this stuff, this is that marine protectile um, by Cyberchem. Um, phenomenal stuff. And what I do with that is I just, when I've fished with it a bit, a couple of sprays, and let it dry and it gives it the shine again and it gives like a rubbery finish around the end there and um, it, it really makes a big difference to my lures and that and uh, it's just something that I've I've picked up recently and I'll tell you what I wish I'd known it in the past but it really rejuvenates those hard hard lures I don't know 
Uh, you can't use it on any soft lures or anything like that, but on the hard lures it really makes it look a lot better, a lot shinier, um, puts it back into condition again. So have a look for that stuff as well if you're fishing those things and they really get scuffed up. And of course you've got to change the, the trebles from time to time. Um, that's it, uh, that's a trip, uh, the tips for the week. And um, yeah, have a look, here's a, a snook that I caught earlier on, unfortunately, um, you can see what happened to it. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a cooter when I looked at it, but now that I look at the footage again, it's definitely a snook. And it was a big snook, so that's why I thought it was a cooter. Unfortunately, the camera doesn't do it justice, but, but have a look at this. Yeah. Yeah, steam train there. Eh? He's on there. Eh? I think it's a kingy. Going a lot on the surface there. He's onto a lack of fish there as well. Eh? Ah, definitely a snook. 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 Yo. Yo, there's a massive shark under you. There's a huge shark there. Eh? I think he's been shocked. Eh? No! Scooter! Scooter! But there's a shock on him. Check it, that shock. The shock is going to hit him. Get him, get him. Kuta, Uncle Kuta! 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 My big shark on you there. I think he got away from that shark. Hopefully he got away from the shark. No, nah, it's been charred. Yeah. Yeah. Charred it.